A lot of rumors on both sides following the layoffs of the Breeze radio station and COMPA, the sister station, as well. Yeah, the Jacksonville Police Department released body camera footage to KETK's Caroline Hicks today. Their goal in doing so, they say, is to set the record straight. If Susie has a power of attorney, then what she says goes. Body camera footage from the Jacksonville Police Department shows confused radio employees who say they just found out they don't have jobs. Susan Waller, daughter of Waller Media owner Dorothy, showed what she says is proof of power of attorney to the police. She came to the lobby and, and requested an uh, officer assistant or what she could do because she had power of attorney and there was um, some ex employees on her property. But what exactly is a power of attorney? You are authorizing another person to make decisions on your behalf. He says it's easy to get it. Just to get a sheet of paper and write on the top of it, power of attorney, and say, I, so-and-so, give so-and-so the powers to do the following things. Signed by me on this date, it's probably best to be notarized. In the video, Susie Waller tells the police... Well, they do not have a job. But when her mother Dorothy speaks to them, they say it's a different story. She thought that we were going to win. And she didn't know. She didn't know anything that was going on. And she has no idea what Susie done. Weinstein says it's very possible for power of attorney to be granted without the person really knowing what power he or she is giving away. You know, who's overseeing this? And really, nobody's overseeing it until it comes into question. Now, we reached out to both Susie and Dorothy Waller's lawyers today, but they won't talk to us. Please tell the employees what's happening is a civil case, and they should hire lawyers to represent them.